Bit lucky to lose his place, wasn't he, in the, in the league side? With Joe Hart coming back, didn't do a lot wrong. I'm telling more. Torre here, looking direct for the Grado. As simple as that. A direct route to goal for Manchester City, who lead one now. Well, Joey O'Brien. George McCartney, I think it is, looking at each other, how on earth was he allowed to run directly through the middle from what is a straight ball. And the kind of ball you should be able to defend a lot better than that. The communication just not there between the two West Ham players. But what a finish from the Credo as it's coming over his shoulder. The, the connection's perfect. He keeps his bearings, he knows where that goal is. Beautiful finish from him. He meant that reverse pass into Dzeko the grader it was absolutely world class he just let it go across his body as he has he got a nick on it I don't know but he certainly seemed to know where his strike partner was after that it was almost a foregone conclusion there you go back in your path the first touch really takes the defender out of it it's stunning football from the two strikers for City And some daylight, daylight opening up here. Here's Negredo. And Torre takes it over. And he's got to take on Johnson. Negredo's ahead of him, but he goes all the way. Manchester City are rampant again. Well, it's Yaya Toure at his best. We thought he might not take any more part in this game, but he just loves to do this, doesn't he? And how do you deal with a player like this? Roger Johnson tries to hold him up, tries to steer him into one avenue. Negredo's run does the job for him, though. Gives him a bit of time. And it's an easy enough finish for the big midfielder in the end. And who knows how many more we might see tonight. For which David Silva will take. Nasri there ahead of Joe Cole. Checo looking for the opening for David Silva. getting the better of West Ham well he might have been a lucky break but once he received that break of the ball he just tucked it away like it was a training ground match Nasri once again at the heart of things so elusive Jekko holding it up far too easily there you go never any doubt as far as Negredo was concerned here and again the worst possible start for West Ham as it was in the first half. Well, it was money well spent. The near 16 and a half million pounds they paid for Alvaro Negredo, who scored. Silva, cliche, Dzeko! It's all too easy for Manchester City. Edin Dzeko keeps up his record of scoring in every round of the competition and Adrian concedes five for the second game in a row. Well, he's made that near post run again, hasn't he, earlier? He went to the ground too easily this time. A really positive run, which he timed extremely well. But again, it's an incisive, piercing move. Again, Nasri's involved. And West Ham just helpless to do anything about it. He is onside. And it's a smart finish. Again, Joey O'Brien's the man that tries to influence it, but he can't get close enough to his man this time. Edin Dzeko, who scored misery upon misery for West Ham this season, who are a point and a place off the bottom of the Premier League. Kolarov pulls it back. Manchester City and West Ham drowning in a deluge of goals 
Well, he saved a few, hasn't he, Adrian? But absolutely no chance with this pile driver. Talk about timing, it's absolutely brilliant for Medin Jesso. I mean, they're dead on the feet, West Ham at this point. That is just deadly, isn't it? And it's an illustration of the confidence of those two strikers out there tonight. Negredo and the goal scorer here. They've been superb.